Throughout much of the Great Basin rock art tradition, the so-called barbell motif is present. Since it is ubiquitous, it may be assumed that it was widely understood over time as well as area. If this was the case, then variations in the way a barbell element appears and is oriented may modify the meaning. This presentation will closely examine and describe those variables as a first step toward determining what that meaning was. It will use over a hundred slides of examples garnered from fields observations at 24 sites in Washington, Idaho, Oregon, Nevada, and California. Most barbells are oriented either horizontally to the ground or vertically to the ground. Other angles are found less frequently. Let us begin with the barbell in its most basic form. Two circles connected with a line. The two circles are usually about the same size and the line is straight. The line goes between the outside of the circles and intersects with them at their closest point to one another. On occasion, three or more circles may be connected in this way to form a chain or other geometric figure. Sometimes the line is omitted in subsequent circle attachments. Sometimes the connecting line is tangential to the circles. There are instances of other lines intersecting the connecting line. In these examples, the connected circles are different sizes. There are variations in the shape of the connecting line. In these examples, it is curved or wavy. Sometimes the connecting line bisects, or partially bisects, one or both circles.
In this example, two parallel lines form the connector, and the circles are actually squares. Frequently, one or both circles has a dot in its center. Some have concentric circles inside the circle. In this instance, it would appear that parts of this element were made at different times. In some instances, one or both circles are packed solid. There are a few instances where one or both of the circles is incomplete. Some barbell circles and lines have other elements attached to them. There are rare occurrences of lines and circles arranged on both sides of a central base. There are occasional instances of partial barbells, one circle with a straight line protruding from its outside edge. Barbells associated with anthropomorphs is extremely rare. There are a number of complex combinations that include barbells, but that are difficult to classify. We have seen that each occurrence of the barbell motif is unique, yet most share elements of commonality with other instances in the Great Basin Pepper-Iconographic tradition. This survey is far from exhaustive and does not even address what commonalities may exist between other elements that may occur on the same panel with the barbells, leaving much to be learned from further study.